so I thought I'd do just a little dirty episode here. I have some maintenance stuff that I have to do, which is not Mustang related or Dodge Wagon related. So this over here is my wife's car. It's our daily driver beater. It's a 04 Crown Victoria, not police interceptor. Um, general piece, but it's low miles and it's mostly reliable until uh, radiators break. I don't know if you can see that because of the lighting, but basically it looks like the bottom of the radiator cracks. So, um, fortunately, I have um, in my driveway our former police interceptor. Still, I haven't gotten rid of it yet. I was supposed to junk this, but I've just been pulling parts off of it. Um, this is an 03 police interceptor. The transmission went out, so um, I've just kind of been scavenging parts for the uh, other Crown Vic. So I think today I just need to pull the whole cooling system off and um, and then pull it off the, the white Crown Vic. And we're just going to see what's broken and what we can reuse to fix it. So that's, that's what I'm doing here. All right, so I'm just pulling off some of these accessories here. The pain in the ass thing about this car is that we use the combination of metric and standard. Um, you know, because it had to be a government fleet vehicle, they wanted to do everything metric, but half the stuff is still standard, so real pain in the ass. All right, here we go. Same operation, a couple steps later, and we're over to metric. So, fan shroud, 516s, and uh, radiator, 10 mil. All right, so that half is done. Uh, one of the cool things, as you can probably see here, is that these police interceptors came with a um, oil cooler, engine oil cooler. Um, so I took the bottom half out of that, which looks like this, kind of goes right in the middle of the lower radiator pipe. And um, I'm going to swap that into the new car. This second part, I'm going to have to go under the car, and I'm not doing that today. There's a few other things I need to do when I'm down there. So, um, yeah, we will get the second part the other day. But I'm going to put this in the new car, so it is oil cooler ready. So now, on to the piece. Got the other car, uh, the white car, same condition. Uh, everything out. Radiator, I can't see any visible cracks in it. Um, I'm gonna go take a look at that now. So I'm thinking that the hose clamp or the hose might have just been cracked. I don't know. So that kind of sucks if that's the case, but on the other hand, uh, this radiator definitely looks a little worse for wear, so I am gonna go ahead and swap it out. Um, the leak was happening right here. I think it might have just been a hose clamp failure. Um, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to put the known radiator back in. Uh, but first, I'm going to eat some lunch. Two hours later. Alright, just ate lunch and some yogurt covered pretzels. Um, looks like we had a little bit of cloud cover, so it's not going to be as hot. There's just bacon and the sun working on the white car. Um, Alright, so installation should be the opposite of removal. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm putting the radiator from the black crown deck in the white one using all of these, um, these blue hoses which are silicone so all the police interceptors crown decks um, had these blue silicone hoses so these things basically never crack they never get old um, it's pretty awesome so if you're ever to a junkyard and you need to pick up some generic hoses to use for your project police interceptor crown decks are a good source for these you can get the heater hoses the radiator hoses um, last forever, don't crack, so check them out. Alright, so white car is all put back together. Uh, you can see here, got everything reinstalled, looks just like factory with the addition of these blue silicone hoses from the police crown bic. Um, while I was in here, I also replaced the belt and tensioner and the idler pulley because the belt was old and those two pulleys are usually problematic when you get to high mileage, so I thought it was a good idea. Um, everything fit kind of stock here. I forgot, well, it's all kind of hidden by this big plastic thing, but I forgot the pieces that go along the side, the top and the bottom, um, between the condenser and the radiator. I'm not sure if that makes a big deal or not, but it should be okay. So that's it, pretty easy project. Um, everything's back to normal and the car's running well, so I consider that a win. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video, like, subscribe to the channel, got plenty more random content to come. Uh, thanks for watching.